Hello and welcome to the unboxing of the iPhone 13 mini. So uh, let's see here. This device, it's the blue version. It has 256 gigabyte. And I will do a short review of this later on where I will go through the specs and overall like the camera, the battery life and everything around that. But let's get on with the unboxing. Okay, we get the device. It's blue, kind of a nice color. It's uh, not too bright blue, but it's sort of low key. And here we got the front side. Let's get to that later on. Of course, as usual, we get this charging cable, lightning to USB-C, no adapter included, as usual. And we also get these stickers, uh, tool to remove the SIM card, all of that we get in here. And that is it when it comes to the unboxing. There's not much included these days, but that is also what Apple is going for. Uh, minimalistic also, of course, for the environment, just to not include too much. Okay, so uh, here we got it. Let's remove the plastic, or not, it's not plastic, but the paper. All right, it is small and lightweight. I really like the build of this thing. It's not very thick. Uh, the cameras, they aren't too big, two lenses. I'm sure they will do just fine. Of course, it is supposed to be a bit heavier than the 12 mini, but that is because of the bigger battery as well. So let's start this thing up. And we will see some first-hand performances. Alright, we get to the first screen. This device, it doesn't have 120Hz, it only has 60Hz. But I'm sure for most people that does not really matter too much. Alright, so here it is. Very nice. It's fast. Let's see if we can search for something. It is quick, of course, it has the same processor as the 13 Pro, so it is very fast. Let's check out the camera here. Okay. It only has wide lens and regular. That is mostly all you need, and then you have this yeah, digital zoom as well. Portrait mode. Let's check out the front facing camera here. Yes, uh, looks very good. Looks very good. And yeah, you also can zoom out there as well. The video. It can record at 4K at 60 FPS. That is pretty good, in my opinion. So. Uh, We'll check that out. Cinematic video, also a very neat feature. Slow-mo, of course, as usual, and time-lapse. Otherwise, I feel like it's mostly the same. This one also has wireless charging, so if you don't want to get the adapter for this one, or you, for example, you break the port here, you can always use wireless charging. So that is also very neat. And I would also just like to add that this is the maximum brightness and uh, yeah, uh, it is very bright. In sunlight it will do just fine. Also we have this HDR mode where it will get extremely bright when you use it in sunlight and HDR content. So basically uh, I think it maxes out at 1000 nits but and this is 1000 nits but you can get 1200 nits in with hdr and in bright sunlight so that is a very neat feature and also i would like to 
testa out the speakers on this. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's very loud, and it also has a good, it also has a good bass, I would say. So, I mean, no problems here. Yeah, no problems here whatsoever. Uh, it's bright, I mean, it's, it's loud, and uh, the screen is bright. I mean, this is good first impressions. Right, and of course it comes with Face ID. I haven't set it up yet, but uh, as usual, Face ID here as well. Yeah, but as we can expect, it's probably very smooth and very nice. As with all the new iPhones, you won't feel a lag. Only for me, the 60 hertz, the 60 hertz screen. But this one, I think it will do great. It's small, perfect for small hands. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.